So there is my restrung uh, bullhorn necklace. I decided to put a bull bead on it and a mammoth tusk uh, bead as well. So that would be the first time I've ever worked with a mammoth tusk. I did it with modern tools because I want to see how the uh, it reacts, how it reacts, yeah. And uh, next time I'll do it with uh, stone. Yeah, there you go. It's milkweed cordage. Mammoth bone, or mammoth tusk, sorry. Bullhorn, and then bullhorn. Now these grooves, they don't really have any meaning. And there's no um, actual evidence for this or artifacts or anything like that. But later Neanderthal cultures, or I should say techno complexes would be the scientific term. Um, so the Chateau Peronian period, that's like the final, the final period before the Oregonation period. And it's a, it's, it's a Neanderthal techno complex. But most of these, um, most of the uh, jewelry they find from back then actually have, uh, simple carvings in them, like bear bones. I mean, like bear teeth and all that. They'll have, um, <clears throat> sorry, they'll have carvings in them. Just like simple grooves like these. So I decided, well, if they did that with bear teeth, why wouldn't they do that with bull horns? Or aurochs horns, I guess they would be. So I did that with this. And uh, yeah, I wear this every day now because I think it looks cool. The aurochs is my favorite Ice Age animal for all that are wondering. But yeah, so there's the section that the mammoth bead came from cut it and drilled it with modern tools. I did finish it with sandstone though. So there's my uh, little piece of sandstone that I do most of my carving work on. Um, and yeah, so that's really it. I'm gonna tie, I'm just gonna do a simple tie off for the ends, but I glued them with the birch tar, birch tar glue. That's what I got left. And there's the necklace. So thank you for listening to me rant for however long I was ranting. And um, hope you think my necklace looks cool. And I will see you guys in the next video I decide to post. Okay, bye now.